the local community in Bulisa district who are blocking the oil and gas activities in the Tilenga project area will not be tolerated anymore, wants Ruth Nankabirwa, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development. I'm giving you only up to July 30th, 31st? July ends with 31st. July 31st, all those who have refused to take this money, I'm giving you July 31st, it is your right to go to court. Go to court and then the court will take a decision. But for us, we are going to access your land and we are going to pay the money that the government valuer has valued. We are going to pay that money in court. While handing out 105 houses to Tilenga project affected persons, Nankabiro underscored the importance of the oil and gas project in Uganda's social and economic growth aspirations. Then there are six pubs who cannot be traced or cannot be reached. We don't know where they are. We have advertised, we've gone to papers, those six pubs. By end of July, we are going to get access to this land. Then we have 27 landowners who, in disputes. They have failed to agree who should take who, who, whose land. You are there in disputes. We are going to put money in court. When you finish your disputes, you will come to us. We cannot afford not to have our oil by 2025 because of these disputes. All the beneficiary households are assisted by Total Energy's ENP Uganda to acquire freehold land titles. Total Energy's top management and local leaders from Bulisa are convinced that efforts to restore livelihood and compensate pubs will create positive impact and shared value. Total Energy's EP Uganda is fully committed to help developing Ugandan resources for a shared prosperity in compliance with national regulation, with the United Nations guiding principle on business and human rights, and with the most stringent IFC performance standards. Yeah, we have people who have land, but the advent of oil and gas in Vilesa district, or in Nyoro sub-region, or in the country, has been able to see people in this region getting land titles which is not the case with the rest of the people that own land in this place. So this is a very big plus on our side and also want to appreciate government for this very important initiative because now that is a very serious security for our people that now they own land. Then we also want to appreciate government through its uh, other agencies, total energies and other uh, oil companies, the way they're resettling our people. You can see they have been able to construct very decent accommodation houses for our people and uh, their lives have not remained the same. The 105 houses are part of the planned 205 resettlement houses worth US dollars 10 million being built in the districts of Hoima, Borisa and Chikube. They comprise of two, three and four bedrooms, a seating area, veranda, outside kitchen, rainwater harvesting tank, among others. Meanwhile, Minister Nankabirwa and other stakeholders have toured the Tilenga industrial area and the Ngiri rig area to get abreast with the upstream oil and gas developments. The ultimatum issued by the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, in Bulisa district signifies government commitment and seriousness to have its first oil in the international market in the year 2025. Dennis Igor for UBC News in Bulisa district.